Well, good afternoon. I'm Tom Fiella from Tom Fiella Wallpapering and Painting, and we're here in Columbus, Ohio at the Confluence Park River Club at the Boathouse here at the Big Buckeye Room, and we're here to propose a painting contract, and we want to invite you to see what we're doing. I'd like to introduce to you a very special person, a quality craftsman that I know you'll enjoy seeing. It's Charlie Welton, a lifelong friend. Charlie? I'm Charles Welton, professional painter, been painting a little over 30 years. And uh, when I saw this project here, it got me real fired up because I know what you want to do. You want to turn all this stained wood into painted wood. There's a lot of work involved, but nothing we can't handle. We've done it many times before. Some of the things that need to be done, like we have chipping on the bottom here, we have uh, scarring on the wood, all the nail holes will have to be filled, all the caulking will have to be done, and uh, we'll make sure stuff like anything that's on the wood that doesn't belong there comes off. Then we have a lot of prep work to do and a lot of painting after that. It's nothing we can't handle. The best way to handle something like this, we have to build a platform from that middle beam to the window seal, all the way across, so there's like a working platform. We'll put uh, platform on each end leaving the middle open so we can have air circulation down and up. It's hot up here. You don't realize how hot it is till you get up here. Once we do both ends then we move those two middle platforms to the outside and do the middle section again keeping air circulation up and down. We'll, we'll build the platforms because it's safer, it's quicker, and easier to do it that way. We can set ladders up to get up to the peak and we can work up here without fear of falling through. We just have two open areas, but we'll know those are there. They're big enough to see them and be aware of them. Everything else, we can just walk around in safety. The uh, boards will be screwed into the top of the beams and to the top of the window sill so they won't shift and, and move. But that's the best way to do something like this. When I saw this room, it's a big room. It's a beautiful room, and we can make it top notch. I know we can, and I'm just anxious to do it. Thanks, Charlie. Spray painting is very important on a big project like this, and I'd like to introduce to you David, who's an expert in spray painting. My name is David. I'm one of the crew members, or the crew member, the lead crew member here on uh, Charlie and uh, Tom's team. Uh, they introduced me to this project uh, about a month ago, and I was really stoked about coming in here and uh, turning this beautiful woodwork into a more beautiful paint job. Uh, my, after talking with Charlie and Tom, we all decided that it would be a best for a spray application. Uh, which is lays down a tremendous finish on everything. Now the reasons why we want to use a spray application is not only for the quality of work that we do, but also for the uh, time factor. I know that this, this room is uh, booked throughout the year, and with our crew and the experience that we have, we can come in here in a very timely manner, give your restaurant back to you, and the event planners, not only the event planners, but also the guests and the service staff will step into this room and say, wow, I want to do, I want to have something done in this room. As being an experienced craftsman as I am, one of the things that I do, I pay attention to the details. And here's one thing that we saw in this project, something can enhance this project, and is the details of the trim. And I'd like to introduce to you Terry Thompson. My name is Terry Thompson and uh, I've been in the carpentry business for about 35 years and Tom Fiello Painting asked me to come and uh, look at this particular project for him uh, to assess the damaged moldings and doors, uh, the necked up trim and so on to see what all was uh, in the process of repairing before they can paint. Uh, when you paint anything wood white it shows up every little flaw and uh, so all these places that are nicked up and damaged and even replaced molding that's damaged and uh, has to be done before we can paint. So um, we've just taken that into consideration to be sure that they, when they're finished uh, doing all the painting uh, that it is complete and uh, all the flaws and damaged places have been repaired or replaced. One of the things that we want to do is uh, make sure this job is capable of the weight load of the heavy scaffolding that we may use. One of the tools that we use in spray painting business with high ceilings are scissor lifts. 
and those scissors lifts are very heavy and having two of them side by side we needed a structure expert to come in look at your building can we use this type of equipment here so to preserve this building here's what we came up with well what it is is um, we consider the weight of the scissors uh, lifts in uh, which they weigh about 3,500 pounds each and if we were to put two of them together, which was what we were wanting to do, uh, be too much weight on these joists, they're only attached by hangers to the beams. So uh, it was just not viable to um, bring in the scissors lifts, so we will probably have to resort to uh, scaffolding on wheels. Thank you so much for considering us of uh, being a part of this project. We consider it a real honor to serve you in this painting, all of our quality technicians, keeping us on top of the events here in Columbus, Ohio. What an honor to be a part of you. Thank you so much.